In the last lesson, we saw how we can quickly copy formatting from one data set to another using Format Painter. And in this lesson, I just basically want to show you the reverse of that and how you can clear formatting once it's been applied. And this is a particularly useful thing to know because a lot of the time, you'll receive data sets from maybe other people, or maybe you've downloaded a data set from an external system. And often, that data will come across with formatting that you don't necessarily want. So you need to know the techniques when it comes to clearing formatting from data. Now, once again, we're starting with our two data sets. Now I've made a bit of a change to table number two. You can see I've added a column that just houses a web address in there. Now, the reason why I've done that is because we do have numerous different options when it comes to clearing formatting. So we're going to say that we want to clear all of the formatting that we've applied to this table on the right hand side. Now, when it comes to clearing formatting, you're going to find all of your options on the home tab in the editing group where we have this little eraser icon just here. If we click the drop down, you can see that we have a few different options. So let's go through each one so that you understand the difference. Now, when it comes to clearing, we must first make a selection. So let's say that I want to clear the formatting from this heading row just here. I'm going to select the area. I'm going to click the drop down next to clear. And let's see what happens if we choose clear all. That is pretty much going to do what it says on the tin. It is going to clear everything from that cell, not just the formatting. So it's going to remove any text or numbers that you have in those cells, as well as the formatting. If you just want to completely get rid of everything, then that is a perfectly good option to use. But I'm going to undo because that's not exactly what I want. Let's take a look at the second option, clear formats. Now, if we click on this, that is more like what I was looking for. I want it to retain the text that's in the cell. I just want it to remove any additional formatting. So it's removed that purple background fill and it's also removed the borders. Let's undo to put it back and take a look at the third option. Now, the third option we have is clear contents. And if we take a look at the screen tip here, it says clear only the contents in the selected cells. The formatting and comments are not cleared. So this is kind of the opposite of clear formats. Hi, from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad-free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching, and back to the course. If we click on clear contents, it's going to clear the text or the numbers out of the cells, but it's going to leave the formatting there. And sometimes that can be really helpful if you just want to switch out the text that you have in some cells, but retain that background formatting. Now let's click it one more time. Notice we also have clear comments and notes. Now this is currently grayed out for me because I don't have any comments or notes in my worksheet. Now we are going to get onto that subject a bit later on in the course. So we'll take a look and revisit this option. Then the final option we have in this menu is clear hyperlinks. So this is going to clear any hyperlinks from the selected cells. Now notice here that I have some hyperlinks in column Q and hyperlinks. Again, it's not a subject that we've covered, but you've probably seen these before. If you type any kind of website address into a cell, it's automatically going to turn it into a clickable hyperlink. So if I was to click, it's going to jump me across to the Simon Says It website. Now, it might be that you want to keep the web address in here, but you want to remove the actual clickable hyperlinks. That is what this option is for. So I'm going to click in the first cell. Let's do control shift down arrow to select everything. And then when we go to clear, notice that remove hyperlinks is now active as well. So we can clear the hyperlinks or we can remove them. Now, if I clear hyperlinks, it looks like it's done nothing. But now when I hover my mouse over any of these hyperlinks, my cursor doesn't change to a little clickable hand icon because these are no longer hyperlinks. I can't click on them to jump to the website, but the actual text is still there. Let's control Z to come out of here and put those hyperlinks back. You'll see now when I hover over, I get that little clickable hand icon. Now, the other option that we have control shift down arrow to make our selection is remove hyperlinks altogether. 
So if we remove the hyperlinks, it's actually going to remove that underline. So now they're basically just regular text in a cell. They're not linked to anything else. So that is the difference between those two options. Now, I don't actually want this website column in my table, so I'm going to select the entire column. I'm going to go to clear and clear all simply to get rid of it. Now, I don't actually want this second table, so I'm going to select the entire table, control A. I'm going to go up to clear and I'm going to say clear all. And you can see that that is a nice quick way just to get rid of everything. So those are the options that you have when it comes to clearing cells. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for Beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.